Fango is a show about music fandom um, and about the history of music fandom. So all the way back from in the, well the earliest music fans I found out about are in the 1840s. Um, they liked a classical pianist called Franz Liszt, um, sort of going all the way through Frank Sinatra, Elvis, Beatlemania, um, up to Justin Bieber and One Direction fans. Um, it's inspired by my own experiences of experiences as a fan and following bands around and um, sort of how that maybe changes a little bit as you get older as well. Well, I really love Green Day. I've seen, I'm proud to say I've seen Green Day every time, every, every tour that they've played in the UK since I was a teenager. Um, but the band that I sort of focus on in the show is a band called Less Than Jake, who are a ska band from America. Uh, who I followed around a lot and at the last count I'd seen them 23 times. Bits and photos, uh, a sign that I made when they played at a festival a few years ago so I sort of took it upon myself to be their street team at the festival and I had a big sign saying what time they played and some little speakers on my waist and I walked around sort of trying to promote their show. I don't know why I did that. Um, and yeah, like tickets, uh, photos from when I met the band, a t-shirt that I got signed, and plectrums as well. I had a couple of Take That fans get in touch with me, and a woman who um, sounds really interesting, she actually went on hunger strike to raise money for um, a chat like I think she she really liked Depeche Mode and the singer I believe or somebody in the band had a drug addiction so then she just took it upon herself to raise money for a drug drug charity that helped him and she went on hunger strike for forty eight hours to do that um, so yeah and I'm hoping to collect more as well so more and more stories. of other people's stories, little anecdotes, um, little bits of history and some science and my own stories as well um, and all sort of done through um, storytelling and songs and poetry. Um, so I wrote a song last night, I like to do something where I um, take social media comments, so in my last show um, I took social media comments about a video that my dad did and I made them into a song. Um, so I've done the same thing about using comments about Justin Bieber, which is a little bit scary and today I was actually um, praying on the bus that my notebook didn't fall out my bag because if anyone was to find that I would be like out of context, I'd be very embarrassed. Um, so yeah, yeah, writing a load of new songs and trying to write an opera song as well um, to sort of show off my voice a bit more and in the style of sort of Franz Liszt's music, so, which is proving challenging. I hope so, yeah, this is actually the premiere of the show. Um, I've not got any other dates booked in, but I think we'll just, we'll see how it goes. I wanted to make something new, and it was nice to have the Greater Manchester Fringe right on my doorstep to have that opportunity to do that, really. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see where it goes afterwards. Yes, I think so. Everyone that's got in touch with me has been local um, and I'm planning to go down to the MEN when there's a few big concerts on so take that playing for a week and KISS are playing the day after so I'm hoping to go and catch people in the queue there as well.